Just the bait? Uh, nope, 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 nope. You want me to start <laughs> this or you? can you handle it? So what's up guys, we are back with another vid video before we get started. I'm just messing up today. <laughs> start over, slow down. So what's up guys, we are back with another video before we get started go down there subscribe ring the notification bell and like this video today we're well we aren't going to be at the creek for a long time today we get the boat and we're going down to, down to the lake catching some bluegill and if we catch some huge bluegill out of the creek those might be going in our stomach well you're almost right houston bring our bucket so we we are actually going to be running some catfish lines we're going to go put out some limb lines Houston and I came down to the creek and set out a couple traps, so we should have a bunch of bluegill for bait. Mm -hmm. But what I told him was, we're gonna run some limb lines with bluegill as live bait or any kind of, whatever kind of sunfish we catch, green sunfish, red ears, whatever. And then we may go bluegill fishing and try to catch some big bluegill at the lake, Houston. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. But our main objective is to catch some catfish. Yeah. And uh, this may be a, a couple day process because we're going to put these lines out today and then we'll do some fishing we'll go back and run them tonight and then we'll probably run them again tomorrow morning see what we catch overnight huh houston yeah but hopefully we got bait in the traps uh-huh we'll pull that trap up first Woo. well i see some not a lot. Hopefully the other trap has a lot more than that. What is it? that thing is. Uh, yeah, that one's huge. We got two huge ones. We want them a little bit smaller, but hey, we, we can use some big ones like that. We might catch a giant catfish, huh? Yeah. We'll drop them. We need those, okay? Big one. Yep. Well, we got another big bluegill. Hey, but guess what? You got a big bullhead catfish. That'd make good bait too. Well, we didn't quite catch enough bait in our traps. I'd like to have at least a dozen or so. We got about eight or so, I think. So. We're going to try to catch a few more real quick. There's nothing wrong with those big bluegill. That just means we'll catch a big catfish, hopefully. Oh. Got one. Oh, yep. Yep. Green sunfish. That'll make a good bait. I think that's a green sunfish. That's what it looks like. So He's going to go on a hook in the lake, though. Well, Houston, what? we got plenty of bait now. We can go run about 12 or 15 limb lines, maybe. We can find some good places to tie them and avoid the trees in the water. See what we can do. What do you think? Yep. Okay, so before we get started, I kind of want to go over, I need to explain what I call a limb line. So we're taking basically braided twine. This is made for like trot lines and such. And I'm using one single six aught hook i'm not going to put a weight on it or anything but we're going to put a live bluegill on there and then tie it onto one of these low hanging branches we're going to put out about 12 or 15 of these tied onto one of those low hanging branches and then if you get a catfish on there that limb will fight that catfish and we're using six aught circle hooks because they'll set they'll set the hook themselves so we're going to go over there tie one onto this limb there's another low hanging branch there and we'll just kind of work our way up the creek and then we'll let them set for a few hours come check them before dark and then probably first thing in the morning again i'm on it too all right so we're going to tie this line onto this limb probably should use a little bit bigger limb but as long as it's green a fish will fight that thing for hours all right 
get us a bluegill or a green sunfish or something. Catfish too. There he is. A catfish in there. All right. Now we're going to hook him right behind that dorsal fin, kind of up high. That way the hook sticks through and if a catfish tries to swallow him, we'll get him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to set him over the side. All right. Let me get us out of here. Get wrapped around that limb, around that tree. There we go. Okay. See how that's hanging in the water like that, Houston? Yeah. Now that little fish will swim and fight that string, and that'll get a catfish's attention, and then we'll catch the catfish. Yeah. Oh, way too small. All right, little green sunfish. Go catch us a big one. how he's just barely in the water mm -hmm. it's not a bad thing because a catfish will hear him making a ruckus like that mm -hmm. and come at me some cool. of them will put deeper and some of them will put shallow like that all right houston get us a bait i'll tie this on Got oh yeah <laughs> that that is a giant catfish bait right there. It's going to be like a 15 pounder if we catch one. Or 50. <laughs> I don't know if this limb will hold a 50 pounder, Houston. It would be a 15, but not that big. Now I've always heard, never tried it, but I've always heard that a bullhead catfish is excellent flathead bait. So we're gonna see. We might get rained on for a minute. You know, Houston, I told you we should bring a rain jacket or something, didn't no, I? No, 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 no. I told you I'm gonna bring a jacket just in case it rains. And looky here, it's raining, all right. Yeah. So whose fault was that? Oh, we'll just blame your mom. Well, we decided to take refuge under a tree here because Houston got us caught in a rainstorm. What? <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to rain for very long, so we're just going to hang out here under this tree for a minute, and I think we'll be all right. There's no lightning or thunder or anything, so we should be pretty safe. Right under that fin. Go straight through and come out the other side. There we go. Just push it through. There you go. See how the hook sticks out the other side? Yeah. Now toss him in. Yeah! Alright, well the rain shower only lasted about, what, five minutes maybe? And I think we got about 13 or 14 lamb lines hung out. And I think we're going to ease back down through them, check them real quick, see if we got any fish. And then uh, we're going to go out towards the big lake, some big part of the lake somewhere and see if we can find Houston some bluegill. I noticed in the creek this morning, they were spawning everywhere. So maybe we can find a little cove and find some spawning bluegill out here in the lake or something. Basically just to kill some time so we can check our lines again before dark. You ready, Mr. Chipface? Sun's going down, got a little bit of rain in the air and a big giant rainbow. It's gotta be a good sign when there's a rainbow hitting the lake right next to us. I mean, that's got to be good luck for catching catfish, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Hey, reel that up a little bit. It's going to get caught in that bush. I can see your bobber way too close to that tree. For the first time in forever. <laughs> um, there's nothing better than almost three rainbows fishing. There's really nothing better. Well, that first one's getting really bright. And you can barely see another one behind it. But I think it's time to go treasure hunting. Treasure hunting? Yeah. You think there's treasure at the end of that rainbow? No. Well, I think we're just going to ease up through the creek. Take a look at all of our lines. We've already checked a couple. And uh, 
Yep, I see. I'm just gonna kind of check and make sure our bait's still good. Probably turn on the lights. Maybe try to bow fish our way out of here just a little bit. See what we can see. Houston wants to check this one real quick because it was swimming around pretty good. Probably just our bait, but just, just the bait. Nope, 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 nope. Got a catfish? Yep. Good job, Houston. Yeah. Got us a channel cat. I told you. Oh, you told me, huh? I told you that we probably had one. Well, we're out of bait. So we'll pull him in. That's two. We got at least, hey, we got at least one yep. for a catch, clean, and cook, right? Yeah, and that's actually a big one. That's a good one. That's not bad. Yeah! Let's go. We need more bluegill, man. We didn't catch any. We were trying to catch them all ago. We yeah. didn't catch any bluegill, did we? No, we caught none. Well, if we can uh, shoot something while we're bow fishing, maybe we could use it for cut bait. Yeah. I bet you it's just our bait. Do what? I bet you it's just our bait right there. I don't know. That whole limb's moving, buddy. Catch the limb. Catch the limb. It's one. All right, go around the trolling motor, one way or the other. Oh, that's a big one. There you go. Good job, Houston. Thanks. Just like the last one. Yeah. You said it was a little one. That ain't bad. It looks like a little one, and it wasn't pulling hard, really. Pull we need more bait, buddy. We need more bait. You know it? No. Good eating size little channel cat right there. We might be having a little bit of catfish tonight. Tonight? Yeah, just a mm, little bit. Maybe not tonight. It's uh, it's almost nine o'clock. Oh. Probably not hey, gonna be eating hey. them for supper tonight. Hey, hey, at least I'm out of school. So I can stay up longer than nine. Well, that's true. You got it. Who said I couldn't do it? Wait, who said I couldn't do it again? Well, I did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just lit up the world, didn't we, Houston? Yeah. Houston, I think you definitely got a fish on this one. Yeah. It's so really getting after good. it. What are you doing with that? I don't know. I was trying to use it to get it, but I don't know anymore. You just get him right up here and we can go right over the top of it and you can get him in the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a shark. No. <laughs> get him up here. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you get? What? I said, what'd you get? Catfish. Big one too. A little bit bigger than the last two we got, huh? Yeah. Get in there with your buddies. Well, that's three little channel cats so far. Yeah. No big catfish yet. Kind of disappointing. As soon as it got dark, the catfish started biting. You know it. Guy. But still catfish? Hold him up here. Hold him up here. Still catfish? Yeah. Hey, he's eating size. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, trying to get me the good little buddy. Good job. Thanks. Killing it, man. We already got four, but no. we, we might have five because there's a string down there that was moving pretty good that we passed by. So we might have another one. <laughs> Coming up on our next line. Yeah, what did I say? Hey, I said we might have a catfish on here. Looky there. We have a catfish. It's definitely moving. All right, Houston, what is it? Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, I just missed it. Go back. Woo! I saw that.
What do you got? Catfish. Definitely got a catfish. broke my arm. About broke your arm, yeah. You slipped and fell, didn't you? Hard. Another Ooh. channel cat, about like the other son. Yep. Ah. It's a workout. Well, the fish are all cleaned, and uh, it's 11-11. Time for me to go to bed. Houston crashed out on me. He's already gone in the house and showered and went to sleep, but got everything clean. Got the fillets in the refrigerator. We'll let them soak overnight and figure out what we're gonna do with them tomorrow. But uh, what a good evening, man. We, we had success. Houston and I went ahead and decided to pull all of our lines tonight because we ran out of bait. We had all of our lines, but I think two had uh, either caught a fish or lost their bait so it was kind of pointless to to bring the boat home and then go back and unload it for two lines in the morning so we just pulled everything and we did pretty good i mean we got a whole family's worth of fish in one evening had a great time and uh now it's time for bed so we'll see you guys in the morning all right well welcome to the kitchen we're gonna do something a little bit different with these catfish i'm gonna freeze some of them but I think we're gonna have some for lunch today. So I went to the garden and got us a fresh head of broccoli. Look at that. It's about to turn bad on me. And we're gonna do this little uh, quinoa brown rice mix. Got my catfish fillets now. Some of these are big fillets. We're not gonna be frying fish today, Houston. I saw that. I saw that they were huge fillets. Yep, so we're gonna cook some of these fillets on the pellet grill, put them on a bed of rice, have them with some broccoli. You know, Houston's over here watching a Jimmy Houston deer video. Well, it's not really Jimmy, it's, it's his granddaughter. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna cook us some lunch though real quick. You think it's gonna be any good? Yeah. So, my dad's gonna cut up that, but I wanna show y'all what kind of seasoning we're gonna use. Deer meat for dinner uses some of this. I got, I got him, I got my dad a big bottle of it one time. It was a big one, but he used it all, and I got, got him for Christmas. Well, I get, he got these two, so we're gonna be using these. Everglades fish and chicken. And then the Everglades cactus dust. That's right. Don't mess it up, boy, don't mess it up. You gotta coat it on there thicker than that. You need some lessons. Hey, um, I, I haven't done this before, okay? <laughs> that's this what I said. Like, like, you need some lessons in how to season exactly, the catfish. Exactly. Put it on thick. That's what I say. We like it. There you go. Well, maybe not that thick. Okay, then. Oh, all of a sudden, you're just instantly Emerald Lagasse now? <laughs> you sprinkle some seasons on the fish once, and all of a sudden, you're just Emerald Lagasse now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's go throw them on the grill. Great job. I got the old pit boss warmed up. It's not super hot yet, but we're not gonna put them straight on the grill. We're gonna use this little grill pan that I got for Christmas. And Houston thinks he knows what he's doing. Hopefully he don't dump our fish on the ground like he did that pan inside. Set her up on there, buddy. It's not that hot, just push it on. Grill master in training, right? fish going outside I'm gonna try something a little different with the broccoli so instead of just steaming it put a little bit of olive oil in a cast iron skillet we're gonna cook it down a little bit like this and uh, what are you watching now that don't sound like Jimmy Houston Colin J that just looks like a baby Tired, but yeah. he normally does it like half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour, yeah. yeah. Colin J, have you watched baby channels or something? No. What do they do? Well, 
frog hunting, a whole bunch of stuff. Frog hunting, fishing, all kinds of stuff, huh? It looks like they're talking about their brand new baby. We might have something planned. Oh, 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 oh yeah, this is gonna be good. A slab of fish on the plate. Mm. You're probably not gonna like it. I know how much you hate fish. Yeah, I'm and you hate my cooking. Right. I used to. Mm. I used to hate your cooking. No bad at all. It's gonna be good. Here on hand, if we uh, get to mess a crappie, I ain't here to throw some in there. Oh, oh, it's another crappie. What the heck? Right there at the Watching fish on TV while we're eating fish. Mm -hmm. Houston's at the barn. I got to get him a plate ready. He'll be up here in a second. Give us a little taste test. Well, I'm not a fan of this rice. I don't think. Well, you bought it. I wanted to try it. Oh, mm, it's, it's okay. Let's go with the fish. I mean, that's what we care about, anyways. Mm -hmm. The fish and the homegrown garden fresh broccoli. Mmm. It's really good. I like the heat. Yet again, here I am cooking grilled fish on the day when Emily's gone. She's gonna be she always misses out. Yep. She's going to be upset with you. Mm. It's really good. Hey, try that broccoli. I never cooked it like that. I saw somebody on YouTube do it the other day. I think it was old Blue Gabe cooked something like that. Good flavor. It's really good. There's no cheese on it, but... It'll work. I guess we're just fishy kind of people because we we go fishing, then we come home and we watch fish on TV while we cook fish. Yeah. That's a lot of fishing. Fresh catfish, just swimming the other day. It's amazing. It's amazing. Old Dutch would say best I ever had. Best mm -hmm. I ever had. I don't know about that, but it's really good. You're not going to get that at a catfish restaurant in Oklahoma. No. <laughs> Where's all your food at? Right here. I still got donuts to eat. <laughs> well, good morning. I'm glad you could get out of break. I'll get out of bed for breakfast. I mean, lunch. <laughs> it's a good breakfast. I mean, it is one o'clock. So, uh, shall we just start calling him Fish Sticker? He thinks he's a pretty good bow fisherman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally found something he was good at. Yup. <laughs> How's the fish? Good. Since that's all you're having for lunch. That's good. Better read about four more of those. He's having donuts for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> you should have for fish. They're very hard. Season one. Then it's enough. You're the one that seasoned the fish. You tell me how you like it. Oh my gosh, Daniel, this was so good. <laughs> this was amazing. It did excellent. You got more to eat. How is it, meathead? If I could finish this, I'll take another one. So that means it's pretty good? Yeah. See, I'd eat another one, but I still got my donuts. <laughs> What'd you say? Turned out better than I thought it would. You sound, that's exactly what your mom says every time I cook something lately. You know what? Because well, it's good. the first 15 years of our marriage, you sucked at cooking. So. It's because I wasn't a YouTube chef. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so guys, if you ever have this chance, you should go catch some catfish and get some Everglades seasoning and do it. put it on this. Grill it, it's awesome. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see y'all next video. Peace.